Hello everybody, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Um, girl, you're supposed to be potty training him. Okay, anyway, we're, we're off to a great start, clearly. Um, yeah, welcome to another part of the 100 Baby Challenge. Cool, this is happening. I don't know. <laughs> um, this one was supposed to be getting potty trained, but Aurora just was apparently not about it. So he's doing it by himself, I guess? Um, which is fine. I don't know what's happening. Uh, so I guess if Aurora is not going to help him, she can come take a shower. Oh, that's nasty. It's fine. And um, also, I believe she was working on making a game. So we'll have her finish up doing that and all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I think today in this part, um, these twins are going to be aging up. Well... Yeah, probably in this part, um, uh, Camden and Aspen will be aging up into teens, and I was thinking I wanted to wait until they move out to get pregnant again because I want to possibly have, um, oh god, Graham, I don't... I don't want to come over. I'm sorry. Um, I want to possibly have triplets, and I think right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We only have two empty spaces in our household right now, so the most we could have is twins, and I kind of wanted to see if we could get triplets, even though that's, like, the worst thing ever. Um, I just, I just wanted to maybe see if we could do it. I don't know. So, um, maybe, maybe one day. But it's going to take a while for that to happen, which I'm honestly fine with taking a little bit of a break from the baby making because honestly it can kind of be a lot. This one's hungry. Okay. I got you, honey. Don't worry. We got some, some horrible crusted salmon here for you to eat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I decided to go ahead and get a uh, basketball hoop in our backyard because I realized we didn't really have an, anything for the kids to gain their motor skills. So yeah, we got this fun little basketball hoop. I want Rose to work on her motor skill just because um, she has the rambunctious scamp aspiration. So I feel like that's the skill that makes sense for her to focus on. So that is what she's doing right now. I'm just having her do it till she gets her fun up and then I want her to do her homework. Uh, Jack's having a shower, then he's going to do his homework, and these two are watching some TV to get their fun up before they do their homework. So yeah, the kids are all home from school. No uh, grades up today, but that's okay. I kind of have a feeling that Aspen and Jack are going to... No, no, no. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong boy. Aspen and Camden are going to get there tomorrow, so that's really exciting. Actually, honestly, I'm going to have you guys um, stop doing what you're doing and just, like, work on a couple of your needs. Okay, he's going to eat something. Cool. After he eats, then he can, like, do what I need him to do. Are you doing your homework? Beautiful. Everything is going to plan. I'm actually going to have this one stop playing on his tablet and i'm gonna have aurora do some skill building with him because i do believe that it goes faster if they're learning it with someone else like an adult so yeah um we're, we're cruising now friends we are cruising now all of the kids are doing their homework now and um what's that kid's name steve i should remember that <laughs> steve is doing some flashcards with Aurora, so everybody is having a little a little bit of a learning session this evening, I guess you could say, which is really exciting. The kids are even talking with each other apparently, which is good, I guess. Rose reached level two of the social skill. There you go, honey. Killing the game. Um and yeah, where everyone's just having an all around grand time. Look, Jack finished his homework. Good job, Jack. Now you can eat. Um we need to eat this cake because um, the baby can't have any or else he gets a sugar rush and I'm honestly just, I, I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so yeah, oh, I'm gonna have Aspen take a shower and then she needs to do her extra credit work so that she can um, get to an A tomorrow and age into a teenager, which is so exciting. Um, okay, I'm glad that you're talking to Rose, but like, 
honestly it's it's kind of making you take longer it's fine oh these two are gonna come play some dolls i think which is fun i'll get up his imagination skill his communication skills glitched out as per usual but that's fine it happens to me all the time and i really wish they'd fix it Ugh, it's fine it's, it's okay we're fine everything's fine um our shower is like actually disgusting and someone really needs to clean it but it's cool are you allowed to have maids in the hunter baby challenge like i'm really not sure but i really want one so that's my struggle that is my struggle um, I'm just gonna have this one come back out here and shoot some hoops. I'm glad that her and Camden are getting along very well, though. I mean, that's good. Um, I want this one to get high in the creativity skill. So I'm gonna have him come play dolls with Steve, and uh, that way they can bond and play some dolls and work on their skills and all that good stuff. I think playing with dolls raises their creativity skill. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and I'm going to get Camden to do his extra credit work as well. Everybody's working on skill, learning, having a good time. Oh my gosh, it's all so fun. Oh look, Aurora's over here doing some yoga. Yes, queen, do, do that yoga. You get all zen and whatnot. I totally forgot that I was trying to have her work out, but you know. It's fine. She's doing it on her own. She, We love yoga. It's all good. Uh, so this morning, Aurora actually maxed out her cooking skill. I am so proud. So now she has three skills that are at max level, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, all the kids are just chilling before they go to school. Everyone's needs are pretty well taken care of, I think. Um, so we're all just kind of hanging out. Oh my goodness, what is this? Um, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I am a grown-up? Start practicing your hiding, get a ninja outfit, or find a ninja to train you. Hmm, I think that this is like the most like realistic thing that you would say, but I think that one's funny, so we're going to do the funny one. Oh god, there's another one. Um, unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? That present one's for you. Be grateful. Sure, give it to someone else. Let's return it to the store. Uh, be grateful, girl. There we go. <laughs> we have dealt with our children's problems now. It's a good morning. I think they're all headed off to school, which is very, very exciting. I hope they all have a good day, and I hope we get some A's when they come back. You know what I mean. Um... This one's going to eat some fruit cobbler. It's uh, so we'll blow. I'm going to put the rest of it in the fridge. Cool. Um, his communication skill is 1,008% complete this level. We love glitches. Miss Aurora is out here working on her garden. I kind of want Aurora to have like really high levels in a whole bunch of skills. Um, I just thought, I just think it would be kind of fun if she just you know she's just a jack of all trades I mean she's already level 10 in three skills and she's still a young adult she has nine days still until she ages up to an adult so we'll probably have another pregnancy before then uh, I'm thinking so yeah okay why won't you weed this girl please cooperate with me thank you very much let's go honey Thank you. Cool. Um, and I do think we also have some mail to get. Get mail. I'm going to put a couple of these in our refrigerator so that we can use them as like fresh ingredients, you know? Um, hopefully we don't get any pregnancy mucking around with, but I honestly think we'll be fine. So I'm just going to put two of each of these uh, in the fridge. And we'll sell all the rest. We don't make a lot of money yet from gardening, but you can make a lot of money if you have, you know, the right plants and all that good stuff. So yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We're going to get our mail. We probably have a few toys in there that we can sell, um, which is always really, really nice. Yeah, we have, Ooh, yeah, we're making the big bucks now. Here we go, friends. 
I'd like to get another computer because sometimes, you know, I want I want more than one sim to do computer stuff. So that's kind of, I think, what the next upgrade is going to be. Also, I want a better backyard. Like right now, our backyard is a little depressing, but it's fine. Oh, and I think he got his, um, what skill is that? His movement skill to a level two. So now he only has one skill left at level one, which is his glitched out communication skill which is always so much fun um, but he's getting hungry so I guess I'll put out some food for him he can have the last Caesar salad I suppose do any of you guys have cats that sleep like this when it's really hot out because two of our cats definitely sleep like this when it's really hot out they just lay out on their back <laughs> It's actually the most adorable thing ever, I'm just saying. And when I saw this cat doing this outside of our house, I was like, wow. Goals, actually goals. I'm I'm impressed. I love this cat, and now I kind of want to adopt it. But we won't. Oh, its name is Whisper. That's such a cute name. I really want to adopt him now. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't do this. This is why I can't live in Brindleton Bay where there are strays wandering because I want to adopt all of the kitties and all of the puppies, my goodness. The kids have just got home from school and as you can see, Aspen and Camden are both A students now, so I'm having Aurora go ahead and whip up a cake. Girl, those skills though, yes queen. Um, also, Rose invited a friend over. Um, she's somewhere here, right there, that's Gracie, Rose's friend that she invited over. Why don't you like talk to your friend? You're the one who invited her here. Um, goof around with her. Come on, girl. Get to know her. Hang out with her. And and this one's very angry. Jack is having a bad day. He's beaten up our little teddy bear over here. The poor thing. What did Blarfy do to deserve this? Nothing. He did nothing. Um, so yeah, we got we got lots of fun, exciting things going on right now. Um, it's all a very good time. And here we have the cake. Aurora put it down so we could add some birthday candles. Little Aspen is setting the table. Thanks, girl. You the realist. <laughs> um, I'm going to have them come blow up the candles. I guess Camden was actually born first, so I'll have him come blow out the candles first. Um, and I need these kids to do their homework. Um, so if you could do that, that would be really, really swell. Thank you. Okay, cool. So much is happening. So I'm going to have these two uh, age up into teens, and then I'm going to give them makeovers, and I will come back once they have their new fresh looks going on. Okay, guys, so Camden and Aspen have gotten their makeovers. Camden is our orange sim, and Aspen is our yellow sim, in case you forgot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is a Camden. Um, he honestly does not look as much like his dad as I thought he was going to when he was a child. I thought he was going to be the spitting image of Don Lothario, which he does kind of look like Don. But he's not like... Like, I thought they were going to be, like, identical pretty much, but not quite. But that's okay. I got some, like patchy facial hair on him because I thought it was kind of cute um and uh yeah so this is his everyday where I was kind of going for a bit of like a more jock kind of look uh his formal wear there are really not a lot of orange options for formal wear but I did what I could uh this is his athletic wear his sleepwear which I just feel like this looks really funny <laughs> um his party wear and his swimwear um, and his traits and everything are completely randomized. I do have the randomizing trait mod in my game right now. So we got the super parent aspiration and he has the mean and lazy traits. Moving on to Miss Aspen, who is so pretty by the way. She looks a lot like Aurora, like a lot like Aurora. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> She, I didn't put any makeup on her, I just gave her eyelashes. And this is her everyday wear, which I actually think is really cute, honestly. I think yellow is a really pretty color, so yeah. Um, this is her formal wear, her athletic wear, her sleep wear, her party wear. This dress is so cute, and actually these boots she already had on in like her default party wear, and I thought they looked really cute with this dress, so I just kept them. 
Um, and then her swimwear. Look at that body, though. Sis is killing the game. Okay. So, uh, yeah, those are their makeovers. Oh, you know what? She doesn't have eyelashes on her swimwear. <laughs> Good catch, Amber. There we go. I love this hair, by the way. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Okay, cool. We're done. They have their makeovers. I honestly, I don't think I'm going to put makeup on any of the kids just because it's annoying. I mean, I might. I just didn't feel like it today. So Aspen is going bare face. And you know what? There is nothing wrong with not wearing any makeup. I have not worn makeup to work <laughs> in like actually months. I'm not wearing any makeup today because I work today and I just don't feel like wearing makeup to work lately. I just don't care. So I'll, we recently hired like a whole bunch of new people at my work too. So like none of them have seen me with makeup on. They just think that I always don't wear makeup, which is not true. I actually have a really big extensive collection of makeup, but it's fine. Um, anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I did kind of just go ahead and sell the cake because I didn't feel like having more Kate in the house with the toddler. Is just not fun. But yeah, everybody is, you know, doing good now. We're getting some homework done. Um, and just straight up chilling. Where did this kid go? Oh, here he, here he comes to finish his homework. Everybody's having a good time. Gracie's going to do her homework with us. Oh, wow. Look at all three of them just, like, coming at the same time. Cool. Love it. Awesome. How much food do we have in here? Six. Seven, eight food things. We should probably, well, you know what? We'll, we'll make more tomorrow morning. It's fine. Go eat this cake. Thanks, girl. Um, yeah, cool. Stuff is happening. It's all good. Um, why is he in ath his athletic wear? I'm not really sure. He's just more comfortable this way, I guess. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I kind of feel like I want the teenagers. Oh my god, she looks so much like Aurora. She looks so much like Aurora. It's actually freaking me out. Because they have school tomorrow, right? So I feel like they should probably get like a head start on their homework. Oh my god, Aspen is evil. I didn't even look at her traits. She is neat and evil. And she got this serial romantic aspiration. Oh my god, I want to play with Aspen now. She seems like she's so much fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, queen. We love an evil queen. Just saying. Okay, come use the toilet. And, um, Aurora, are you okay? I think Aurora, like, glitched out. I'm just gonna reset her really fast. Because she was having a moment, okay? Oh, there's no cake left. Someone stole your cake, girl. Sorry. Come get some other leftovers. And I'm gonna sell that plate that the cake was on because money. Boom. Cool. Fun stuff. What are you doing? getting something to eat. What are you doing, Aspen? Nothing. Why don't you get a head start on your homework? That sounds like a fun idea. Yes, yes. I love Aspen. I'm like obsessed with her. It's like a problem. I don't know why. I'm just so obsessed with her. Like she's so pretty and like I love her style and I'm just obsessed with her. I don't even hate like the all yellow. I don't even feel like it's too much. Okay, maybe it's a little too much, but it's fine. I'm going to sell their old school projects also. Just because, you know, they sell for 80 simoleons each. So it's fine. I'm pretty sure if you don't even do them and just sell, like, the kit, you get 100 simoleons. But our sims need to do good in school. So you won't catch me doing none of that. But it's fine. Did you finish your homework? That's a good boy. Why don't you come talk to Gracie? Come cheer up Gracie. Give her a heartfelt compliment. We invited her over to our house and then just like no one talked to her, you know? <laughs> so I feel kind of bad now. Joke about teachers with her. Have a grand time with her. And um, on that note, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next one, I'm probably going to play a little bit off camera and come back when we have Sims to age up. Because since we're not, you know, having any babies or anything, it's honestly kind of boring and repetitive. And I don't want you guys to get bored and I don't want to get bored. So, yeah, I'll probably play a bit off camera before the next one. And, yeah, I'll see you guys then. I hope you all enjoyed this part. 
Um, I hope you're all having a super amazing day and I will see you in my very next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.